What if I say that exams in medical college are just games? Games of identifying patterns, following up of this pattern and those who do so, they score far better. Now let me break out this concept for you in this video. What I am sharing are my personal experiences. They are not the universal anecdotes or something that can be set as reference. So you can modify themselves as you like or you can even ignore them. But I think you should listen to them. Maybe somewhere you can correlate. But before beginning, just make sure that you hit the subscribe button so you don't miss our videos from our channel which is all about sharing the medical science, general health awareness and the experiences around the medical college. So after getting into medical college, I was just like any other guy who didn't knew what this whole mess was all about. Because here, you need to come out of your comfort zone and change the way you study. Because studying in medical college is not the same you do in your schools. You need to be more professional and give that extra push you require to deal with the exams and the test on the daily basis. In first year, I was really struggling to come over it, but it wasn't that easy. And as a result, I faced major setbacks, which I will discuss in some other video some other day. But those were the hard lessons, which now I feel were very crucial. But if you have reached to this video, then congratulations, you are way ahead of me because by knowing this i hope you would be taking all of this in a very easy frame you will spend around 10 to 15 years of your life in the medical college doing graduation then specialization and during this period you will face numerous exams every other day you need not to be stressed out at all but you have to understand how this system work and break through this in your own way so all you need to be is a pragmatic strategist and you would be thinking of ye kaun si chidiya ka naam hai so let me simplify this pragmatic means the one who deals with the things more sensibly in a more realistic way in more practical way rather than the theoretical considerations and the strategist is the one who plan up the things very skillfully all you need to do is plan up the two things First is the choice of the content that is the padna kya hai because there is lots of information that you will be burdened up and it will be very difficult for to separate out what's crucial and what's not crucial to you at that part of the time and this is the hardest part of the job because it's all relative and nothing in the absolute context but to overcome this you need to know the game a game of identifying patterns every exam you will face will be made some of the people who are doing the same task for the 20 to 30 years so they have developed a niche or what you call pattern and if you identify this pattern you win the game there are fixed topics already decided questions and nothing a sort of much experimentation you will observe when it comes to the exam now comes the previous year papers to the rescue all you need to do is sit with the previous air papers, spend some time and follow the two A's. Now first A stands for the analyzing. So you need to analyze the important topics, the repeated questions, their favorite parts of the text from where the questions are coming. And next A is all about asking yourself. You need to ask yourself that in a case if you face that question in exam, will you be able to answer it or not? And answer two in a format that can fetch you the maximum score. And if you are looking for the writing the anatomy exam strategies, then do watch the video that we will be posting soon on our channel by Dr. Sonu Tagi, who is himself uh, uh, an anatomist and he's an examiner and a keen observer of all these topics. And you can switch on the notifications so you don't miss that video. Now coming to the second thing which is about preparing for the exam after you have listed all you need to do but if you have done the first part very effectively then the next part becomes a cakewalk because this is all about focus you need to focus on a gross as you are going to write an exam or appear in a viva just to prove that you have grasped the essential piece of information which you must know you need to be crisp and to the point while picking up the information and learn in the way that you usually do I will not get into the detail because there is lots of variation of how you learn but best I believe is the uh, pictorial memory where you will be retaining the information for more time period and more precisely 
so you can comment down and share your experiences regarding this or you want to have more tips that can uh, help you th to grasp the facts then just let me know now comes the days of the exam when you have to keep your stress and the anxiety levels under control because i have seen myself some of my friends who have really worked hard along the year and but couldn't perform uh, well in the exam as their potential because they were mentally all drained off due to anxiety or stress or what i call is the exam dilemma so you need to keep your nerves under control and yes you should never touch the new topics or which you haven't gone through around the year but focus on the aspects which you are well prepared with and now comes the last and the most important factor that can do miracles and it's confidence yes confidence in every exam do matter especially when you are in a medical college it must be a part of your habit it will change the way you approach a question in the writing exam it will give the glitter in your eyes that the examiner do look for because they say is the confidence what comes in when the wisdom runs out even reading the content from the various sources you will still feel that you haven't prepared much because in medical college you will be facing the people who are the expert in the fields they have uh, read the same thing over and over again and you have just entered in a medical college or you have begun your journey in this profession you will meet the super specialized persons so you must never compare themselves with yourself and feel demotivated but they must be a source of information that Uh, you must learn and specialize yourself ahead in the future if you are confident on your preparation on the strategies that you have put in then it will be you who will be controlling the situation else the situation will be controlling you now i hope i had made the information reach out to you which you were looking for and this will be helpful for you in some way or the other thanks for watching and love you all